hello there hello 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 welcome back welcome back to the show and of course we're here with our lovely audience who is ready for another adventure into the friendly games that's right we're here with the friendly games and i would like to thank you so much for being here thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighborhood channel don't forget though to subscribe to the network like everything you know about it and share with everyone who you well you know and we need pest control. That's right. We need uh, a little bit of pest control with the giant cockroaches. <sighs> but until next... <sighs> but let's get right into this with some interviews. That's right. We've called the combatants in so that we could talk to them in this very studio. Welcome, welcome to the show. And welcome to our first ever interview of the combatants of the Friendly Games. And here today I am joined with the green geckos who have really made a name for themselves so far i can't wait to hear their opinions about everything that's happening right now it's important to acknowledge that the fact that with the without these youngsters to sacrifice themselves we would not be able to sleep so soundly and safely of course i also like to thank you the wonderful audience and the benefactors who have made this first ever friendly games possible one of the best events pvp uh, events ever Without you, we would not be able to be where we are today. Now, I understand that the benefactors in the audience have helped compile a selection of questions for the combatant in order to get to know them and understand what brought them to this humble event. I want to thank you all for coming today. I hope that you're having a wonderful get friendly games thus far. I'm sure it's a very tough time having to survive off the land with people that you don't know very well. I'm sure that uh, the people of your district are very proud of you and happy to call you one of their own. But enough of that nonsense. We need to... I know the audience... Uh, oh, no. Welcome to the show. So the questions. Hi, everyone. Uh, the first question for your team is... Who on your team has been the glue that has kept everyone together? Me, personally, I would just say even though this whole event is stupid and it's killing children for the fun of the capital... Um, I would say that I am most likely the person who helps us. But I feel like everyone here, Nice, Pix, and Fang, we all love working together. Because we just work together like Lou, you know? So, those rumors about um, you wanting to betray your leader and overthrow him and murder him, those are all fake and, and false? They are what? all fake, false lies. Because we all know at heart, this is all for the fun of the capital. And for the pleasure of seeing little boys and girls die for no reason. Okay, okay. Well, next question. Next question. Do you see either the team, other teams as a threat? And if so, which team or even player? Uh, yeah, so to our team, how we've talked about our, our, our planning so far, is that we, we really don't see a threat when it comes to the building competition. Because as we've slowly watched the other teams... Their builds is nowhere near as good as ours right now. But when it, when it comes to the actual friendly games, you know, PvP-wise, um, you know, we're, we're just gonna not be too afraid of them. So we don't really see threats in the others as of right now. Oh, so so no one on the other teams are, are threats at the moment? I, as of right now, maybe the red team a little bit, just because they do have slightly better gear than us right now. But as time the friendly games start, I sure we will be right on the level, which will make them no longer a threat. How has it been as being different districts working together in one team? How oh, it's been working as different districts? Well, it's not been too bad. It's been quite refreshing, actually. Getting to know what people are like and just working together reminds me of a friend. I have from a different district. When it comes to the friendly games, to officially begin, do you have a plan for the very beginning? Uh, we in particular do not have a plan for the friendly games as we do not believe in plans. We believe in just going with the flow, like winging it. You could just, yeah. Do you think that is smart being that I'm sure the other two teams have a strategy and plan and I've seen huge maps and X's and, and circles and all kinds of shapes. Yep, because if we just have no idea what their plan is, we could just adjust on the spot to what their plan is to co effectively combat combat them. All right, all right. 
Well, audience, you heard their first uh, set of questions, and as you can see, they're, they're quite, quite intelligent, very, very strategic. Some of them hate the games, some of them love the games. Most of them love the games, of course, because the games are amazing and, and wonderful, and, uh, and thank you to our benefactors. And we're going to a commercial break now. And we're back! Oh, beautiful audience, wonderful audience, it's good to see you again, I missed you so much. And we have our wonderful green geckos here to answer the, the your rest of your questions, your personalized questions, audience. And I hope that hope they do some great answer, answer questioning, questioning, answering. Uh, it's it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Wow. Okay, first up. Pix, as a leader, do you think your team respects your authority? I hope and believe that they do uh, because we have been collaborating together in the past few days and we've been able to make some big projects so far and like explore together and collaborate does anyone no. have any uh, d uh, does anyone have any like no. disagreements oh wow oh wow. um pix is not a good leader he he has no idea how to lead personally i like he hasn't even helped build i'm the person that has been building most of the infrastructure here so i feel like i would have been a better off leader than him do, so, do, do, do you think the rest of the team agrees with the statement, or is it just a personal feeling? Um, for me personally, I think it's personal for me, but I don't know how other people feel, because, I mean, most well, of our infrastructure, other than three buildings, are... Th I guess that's, uh, that's, that's the rest mine. of your team. Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Meese, do you feel that, uh, do you think Mr. Apollo would be better leader than Pix? At this point in Sans, I feel like it would be better for our team to not have a leader. The uh, only thing that leader kind of picks has is the title leader. And so kind of all of us, you know, we help each other. We lead each other in ways that we can hopefully eventually win the friendly game. I see. I see. Hmm. Well, we'll move on to the next question. Apollo, when would you say <laughs> your hatred for the government has arose, Mr. Apollo? I'm not saying that I hate the government. I'm just saying um, when they created the friendly games... Um, it was a stupid move because you're just sending little kids off to die for no apparent reason at all. Um, I personally think that the friendly games are stupid, unjust, and cruel. They're cruel and unusual punishment for the districts. Coming from District 1, people were like, people are eager to fight if you're in District 1. We're one of the, like, apparently good people. No, we're not. We just try to live our lives, not get picked, and hope that one day this will end and the tyranny that comes from the capital will be punished. <laughs> oh, such a funny joke. <laughs> yeah, audience, he's joking. He's definitely joking. I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Meese, Mr. Meese, how is the, uh, the, the biomes that we are currently in, how, uh, the friendly games, how are they different to yeah. your home, Mr. Meese? Uh, so, yeah, the way that they're different is there's a crap ton more trees and a lot less highways than I've been used to. Uh, the, the issue, too, is that I found near all the beaches that's around here, there ain't no place where I can go lift the weights, you know, hit the 45s and, you know, just get the get swole, you know. Uh, another thing, too, is the day-night cycle here is really weird. It seems like one minute it's day, the next minute it's night. There's no real time movement. So that, that also throws in, plus there's a bunch of, like, actual zombies and skeletons and weird green creatures that come up and shoot poisonous gas out of the body after committing suicide. So, yeah, this is it's, it's a bit different than where my home place is. Mm, wow. I've never been to your uh, district. No, or any of your districts. But I'm sure that's very true. Fang, what would you say is your biggest strength? Um, my greatest strength? Probably, probably adventuring. I'm not the best at fighting, per se. But practice makes perfect. Now, as a team, where, uh, where do, you, do you see yourself at the end? Would like to answer that one? I think, I think that we win, personally. Um... We're confident. We know our abilities. You we are the, win the better games? team. We are the better team. Because oh. me personally, I'm not dying in front of the Capitol for fun. Oh. There's a reason why I die. And it will be, I will be a martyr when I die. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I, oh, okay. I uh. will not go out this way. Well, then thank you so much. We got one more commercial break before we come back with our final words. 
And we're back. So, are there any final words that you have for the wonderful, wonderful audience who are cheering you on and love you so dearly? We start with, and first up, we have the leader of the team, Pix. What's up? Your final words? Uh, your mom. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Um, and, and next, who, who, who would like to say their final words? Uh, final words, uh, instead of your mom, I want to say this because, you know, in front of the camera. It's my first time in front of the actual camera instead of the people just taking pictures of me at the speech. Uh, hi, mom! And Fang. Do your best. And if you're ever put in a situation where you have to work with people you don't know, just know that they're probably in the same situation as you and do your best. And uh, 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 Mr. Uh, uh, Apollo, sir, what would you like to say? I'm just going to say, I'm not going down without a fight. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm not going to lose to this capital unjust tyrannous system. I will not die to... And thank you so These much for idiots. watching, everyone. This These has been a wonderful bigots. episode this is not of true. Friendly This shouldn't happen. I cannot this is wait murdering. to see you on this the day. Not, and I really hope no. that we can enjoy the games together. Ugh, this is thank murder. you so much. And thank you so much suck. to our wonderful benefactors. Goodbye. Seth. I have a list of, of questions compiled from the benefactors and the audience that we're going to ask you today. First up, I have the co for question for you, Blue Bats. How has it been as different districts in one singular team? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's been fine. I honestly haven't been met you, so. Yeah, that in the video. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 don't know what you're like, but, you know, he's cool. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Now, uh, uh, okay, well, uh, who... <laughs> But I'll go to the leader. Who on your team has been the glue to keep you together? Alok. <clears throat> Alok. Wait, me? Uh, did you did you just yeah. uh, uh, almost yeah. throw up then? Uh, Alok. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Or, or, or is that your last you name? Uh, no, no, it's actually volcano. But I mean, sure, uh, okay. you can spell it like that. So it's not it's not throw up. Okay, cool. Yeah, no. it's not Alok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good to know, good to know. Um, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Alok, you'd say, would be the one that's keeping your team together? Yep. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> Do you see the other teams as a threat? And if so, which team and which player, or which player, Mr. Mevin? Mr. Um, sorry, Mr. Mark. I have seen, I don't think, any team as a threat so far for now. They have, might have some weapons, but for now, we should be fine. So, uh, yeah, anyone else want to ask that question? Uh... I was just going to say, yeah, I don't see much of a threat in the other teams. Honestly, like, the red guys seem a bit too soft to be a bit big threat, and the green guys seem to be more interested in arguing among amongst themselves from what I see, so... Okay, can, can I go now? Because I have actually an opinion on this. Um, I disagree with my teammates. Um, the, mostly because, first of all, the red team are nice. Uh, I'm married to one of them, Talia. <laughs> And uh, second of all, uh, green team, squishy person, who, who, that who's... dude is scary. So, uh, we must the entire aspect. I mean, here, I mean here. Here. yeah, yeah, yeah. That person, that yeah, I, I keep, I, I have this like quirk that I don't remember names like at all. So uh, I, I just make Italia up the names. Is name. It's perfectly fine. Inuria, Italia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like, just like my my wife that I forget the name of. It, it's fine. But, but yeah, the red team is it's okay, but they're, they're like so scary people. And the green team, yeah, 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 really, really terrifying. Well, it's it's good to to know that uh, and be honest with yourself when you're scared of things. It is it is wonderful to be honest. With you. Yeah, I also work as a therapist. I know that. All right, when the time comes for the friendly games to officially begin, do you have a plan? No. No plan. N then whatsoever. I mean, murder. I, murder is plan. I mean. Like, as a, as Sam said, I am the glue, so I think it, it, my plan for our team would basically be just get a lot of potions and survive of that, or like trickery by, you know, simple traps or just like poison. That, 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 yeah. that sounds good, that does sound good, lots of potions, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for your answer, your, thank you for your answers, and we're going to a commercial break! Oh, that were... Oh, and we're back! Oh, wonderful. Village. We're back, Fire. we're back. Um, yeah, so, now we have the personalized questions from the audience. Oh my god, they're so wonderful. The beautiful audience. Oh yes, you're so wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, first question is actually mm -hmm. for Sam. What kind of leader would you classify yourself as? And what is the most important trait that you think a leader should possess? Um, 
I am a leader that relies on my team, and uh, I think the leader should really, really rely on their team. Okay, okay. Very simple answer, very simple answer. So, Mr. Alak, uh, uh, what what has it been uh, like trying to adapt to the climate of the friendly games? Uh, like, if you mean by literal climate, then it ha it's pretty sunny here. But if you mean by, like, the emotional climate, yes, I love chaos and murdering. J just simple answer like that. So this is very much fun, and I can't wait till like, we get to actually, like, eliminate people. You know what I mean. Yes, yes, I, oh, I do love the honesty, yes. Uh, this is about, you know, murder in the, the end of the day and uh, working together as a team to do so. So, it's important, it's important. Uh, uh, well, one could say, Mr. Mark, that you were known as a mysterious man. For all the lady viewers out there, what would you say makes you the most mysterious? I would say the constant cranking of my arms from the past, I would say. Because <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> you, 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 the cracking of your bones is what makes you mysterious. Damn, this man got glow sticks for bones. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay, well, you heard it first, ladies. Um, he's got glow stick arms. Oh my god. Sexy. Very endearing. He lights up any room he's in. Now I'm with that cannon. My f <laughs> Every time I stab my finger, it glows. What is the most important? Uh, what is the importance of family, Sigurd? And would you choose? Cho uh, would you have your chosen family, or your birth family? What would you prefer? I mean, like when it comes to family, at the end of the day, it's what you choose to be. Like sometimes your birth parents are great, and that's fine. Sometimes you gotta get rescued from a weird manner by a hunter man. That's what happened to me. <laughs> but oh. yeah, family is nice and but, really which, the best thing you can have. So you would say it's very important to have family with you? Yeah, it's always yeah. important. Oh, so, so, mm. uh, so to, to go to the, ma the main question to the entire group, what is your opinion on old gods? Who would like to start? Mr. Mark, what Ladies do you have first. to say about the, the, the old gods? Oh, I guess he's a lady now. <laughs> he is a lady. He's a glow sticking, a glow, glow cra stick cracking man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's not saying anything. He, 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 he got it shy. Okay, Any, anyone else opinion on the old gods? I mean, I've heard some stuff about it, but, you know, as long as they don't kill anyone, I don't see any reason to hunt them yet, so... Oh, purely oh, okay. neutral. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, the, the leader, Sam? Uh, I think they are interesting and maybe even me. Oh, cool. Uh, anyone else? Would anyone else like to say what they think about the old Hi. gods? Hi. Um, so, like, old gods is a good concept itself. But it's a very much weird thing for me because I met, like, few gods in, in the past. And trust me, uh, the old gods you're speaking of, boring. But yeah, just like, they, they have no bedazzle, if you know what I mean. Uh, 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 well, I, 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 I don't endorse there. his language. I think that the old gods are wonderful. Yes, they're so amazing, so beautiful, so great. Good save. Yeah, yeah, totally amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going into a commercial break. Well, that's and boring. we're back. That's boring. Oh, oh, yes, it's wonderful, wonderful. We're going to ask our wonderful blue bats for their final words. For the wonderful audience, the people at home, and the benefactor. Mr. Mark, do you have anything to say to the audience, or the people at home, or the benefactors? Let the best person win. Oh, what lovely, lovely, lovely. Mr. Adam. It was deep. Oh, hi. Would you have anything um, to say? Uh, the, let's the best cheater win. Oh, well, uh, okay. And Sigurd, do you have anything to say? I hope you all have a good hunt out there, y'all. <laughs> all right. And Sam, the leader, would you have, what would you like to say to the one of audience benefactors and people at home? <laughs> I would like to say life is better than death. That is true. Boring. Life is better than death. It's, oh, wow. Oh, it's, it's subordination already. Damn. Well, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Thank you for watching. It's been a beautiful episode. I hope you've had a fun time. And, you know, wonderful audience. Wonderful audience. Better than any audience I've ever had. And I'd like to thank the Blue Bats for coming. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. So long. Don't die. Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to the first ever interview of the combatants of the Friendly Games. And here, today, we are joined with the Red Raccoons, who have really made a name for themselves so far. All right. Welcome to the show, everyone. Our first question is from the Benefactors. They have, I have so many good questions. 
How has it been working as different districts in one singular team? Um, well, I'd, I'd love to answer that. Um, so working, it hasn't necessarily been a problem for us, actually. I mean, two of us are from similar districts and already knew each other, and the other two were from completely different districts, but we never really discriminated against each other for it, and to be honest, we haven't really paid much mind to it. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. It's good to know that you're all getting along. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Who on your team has been the glue that has kept you together? I would say that Aspen has been the glue for our team, as she's always social and talking a lot, creating conversation when it's quiet. Oh, that's good, that's good. Especially if you're not a very overly social team or, or very quiet people. <laughs> uh, it it de definitely helps to communicate. Hmm. Do you see either uh, the other team, any of the other teams or uh, any of the other players as a threat? Personally? Really? They haven't exactly been making So far, I haven't been exactly concerned. No, not concerned. Good, good to know, good to know. And uh, do, do, Nira, you want to say something? Yeah, um, I've gotten to know a few people from others. Not really, we haven't really been doing anything. We've just been, you know, conversating, meeting the other people in the game. And so far, everyone's been pretty sweet. They've been either really sweet or really chaotic. But either way, I, I don't know. They've all been nothing but nice. Oh, that, that's good, that's good. All right, and this is for the, the leader. Uh, when the time comes for the friendly games to officially begin, do you have a plan? Yes, I would say most of us would stick as a team. We would watch each other's backs. I don't think any of us would like to be alone. Most of us have grown up in harsh environments, so most of us know to protect each other. Well, that's good to hear, that's good to hear. But um, hopefully that plan will work. And with that, we're going on to a wonderful commercial break with a lovely audience of uh, people out there. Oh, and we're back! Oh, a wonderful audience. They have questions for you guys. The wonderful audience compiled a whole bunch of questions. And the first one is for Dawn. Dawn, being a young leader, do you think your lack of experience or lack of helps or hinders your performance in the game? I don't think so. I feel like being a young leader helps me be more open to other ideas instead of being so stubborn and uh, not considering my teammates' opinions on the decisions. Great answer. Great answer. Now, Arturas. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Arturas? Arturas? Arturas. Wonderful one. Arturas. What do you think of the current political climate? Honestly? I don't exactly know how to... It, it doesn't exactly bother me. Kind of... I'm phased by the government powers. Huh. We do love... We do love a loyal subject to the, uh, to our government. Of course. Wonderful, wonderful. Rumor has it, Anira, that you were engaged to be married and, uh, at a, such a young age. Tell us more about how the relationship blossomed. <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> Honestly, it was pretty much love at first sight. Um, we got to know each other a little bit, and honestly, despite it being a very rushed, rushed marriage, I I find it good that at least I got to experience something like this. This truly is my last moment alive, and I'm glad that I get to spend it with him. Sure. Many have spoken about your skill with the blade. Where did the violence inf uh, violent influence come from? Well, having come from the bad ones, or as some people call it, the Mesa, You've kind of, I've kind of grown up just like fighting husks and others for the food as it wasn't that common. So it's kind of just been a part, part of survival. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Do you think as a team that you should work together as one unit or separate coming together when needed? Um, I think we should stick as a team. Only need to separate when there is... Um, when there are multiple problems and we need to divert to make it easier to single people out. Wonderful, wonderful. And Anira, what is your opinion on the continuation of the Friendly Games? Um, as in like, what would my opinion be if it continued? Yes, uh, it, it, do you think it's a good idea, bad idea? What, what do you think about it? Well, honestly, as long as people have a say in like, if they can show up or if they can't, then I personally see no problem with it. Honestly, people should be able to embrace what they want to do, and people should be able to pick what they do in their lives, even if this could be their last moment. And with that, we're going into a commercial break, and we'll come back and hear their final words. And we're back! Bye. We're back with the final words from the wonderful Red Raccoons. First, we'll start with uh, uh, Atorius. Uh, what, what is your final words? 
to the wonderful audience, benefactors, and people at home. Honestly? Yeah. I hope to show you all a really good show out there. No, oh, wonderful. Ciao. Uh, I hope the final games are good. A note to people from my district. Look where you're going. Oh, oh my. Well, I, I guess I guess it's an inside joke. <laughs> oh, Nira. Um, to all of you out there who have people who disagree with what you do, remember that it's your life at the end of the day. Embrace what you feel like. You oh, how lovely. And Don. Um, Anira's family, if you hear this, I'm so sorry for Anira being here. Oh my. That's all. The drama. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Oh, well, we're going to go now, but thank you so much all for watching the viewers and stuff. We're about to get into some drama. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Well, wasn't that riveting? They gave us what we needed. They gave us the drama, the love, the passion. And some people were even a little bit crazy. But we have come to the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you learn more about our combatants as they get closer and closer to the D-Day, the final day, the purge, the, the murder, the everything like that. They're going to become hit people and murder each other. I'm very excited. Very excited to see the twist that is coming up for them. Don't forget to like this network. Don't forget to subscribe to its newsletter. Don't forget to share with all of your friends and family. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, so long, farewell, and to the wonderful audience, I love you.